This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. The Oscars, where the stars salute themselves. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. Now, the Academy Awards are going to air February 24th, so let's take a look at some of the nominees. Now, I want to make it clear that we're basing our opinions on having seen almost none of the movies, like most people. I think probably most of the Academy voters don't see all of the I don't think they do either. (laughs) So, first off, before we get into the actual nominees, we want to go through the formula that you can determine, if you've not seen the movie, who is likely to win. Right. Now... First uh, checkbox is, is it Meryl Streep? Right. Then, is this actor, actress recently deceased or about to die? For example, very old. Right. Uh, Did they, is there multiple nominations with no win for that particular actor, actress? Well, you know, then you think about um, uh, Susan Susan Lucci. Lucci. Right. The Susan Lucci Award for the Oscars. Exactly. Did this actor, actress play a character with a handicap? Or a really ugly character when they're not really ugly. Right. Was this a historical costume drama? And then finally, was it a biography? And preferably a biography who's of somebody who dies. Yes. Exactly. During it. Right. So, moving on to the nominees. Supporting actress, Amy Adams for The Master, Sally Field for Lincoln, Anne Hathaway for Les Miserables, or whatever you pronounce Les it. Miserables. Les Miserables. Uh, Helen Hunt for The Sessions. Jackie Weaver, Silver Linings Playbook. You know Les Miserables is a musical. That's right. It is. I, I've heard that. Yes. Oh, well, based on this, I'd probably pick Anne Hathaway. Okay. And why is that? Well, historical drama. Right. Costume drama. Yes. She gets her hair cut off, so in effect she plays somebody ugly. That's true. Okay. <laughs> and Sally Field has already won. Right. And uh, I think Amy Adams, anything for the master is probably out because the whole Scientology crowd is making sure that doesn't get much of anything. Right. I'm, I'm shocked it even got nominated. So, uh, Helen Hunt, The Sessions, I don't think anybody saw that. Uh, Silver Linings Playbook already has a l- bunch of other nominations. So. And that's a really mixed movie, too. A lot of people right. hate it and a lot of people like it. I haven't decided if I'm going to see it yet or not. Yeah. So, we're going with Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway's my pick. Supporting actor, Alan Arkin in Argo, Robert De Niro in Silver Linings Playbook, Philip Seymour Hoffman in The Master, Tommy Lee Jones in Lincoln, Christoph Waltz in Django Unchained. Hmm. Well, you got historical costume drama for Tommy Lee Jones. And for Christoph Waltz. That's true. And technically, you've got the whole liberal Hollywood thing wanting to talk about this story about foreign intrigue, so you got Argo. Yeah. And again, I'm taking I'm taking Robert De Niro off off the the board because of Silver Linings Playbook and so many other uh, nominees for it. Yes. So uh, we're we're taking the master out automatically. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that leaves Lincoln, Django Unchained, and Argo. Django Unchained, I think, too weird for the I don't order. know. See, I'm gonna pick Christoph Waltz. Wow. Okay, and this is why. Because I think this is a safe category for it to win something in. Okay. And they'll want to give it something. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, that's true. I think you're not going to see any other for that. Yeah, I, 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 I think that makes sense. I think so, it's, yeah, I think what it's... What were you thinking? I, I was thinking more Tommy Lee Jones. That's possible. That's so, completely possible. But I'm sort of leaning towards Christoph Waltz. We can split on that Yeah, we'll split on that. Actress Jessica Chastain for Zero Dark Thirty, Jennifer Lawrence for Silver Linings Playbook, Emmanuel Riva for Amor, some Wallace <laughs> for Beast girl. of the Southern Wild, Naomi Watts in The Impossible. Well, I'm gonna put Beast of the Southern Wild out. I think she's too young to yes, win yes, absolutely. an award. I absolutely. think that that would be unlikely. And no one's heard of Emmanuel Riva before, so I think she's out. Uh, Naomi Watts, this was the only thing you got nominated for. I don't see that happening. Um, I think you're looking at Jennifer Lawrence. That's my opinion. She's already won some of the other major awards. Um, yeah, I would think so. And Jennifer, or, um, Jessica Chastain, didn't she just win for the help or something recently? Uh, could have. 
That's yeah. possible. I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking Jennifer Lawrence on this one. Right. But that might be outside of our normal scope of rules. Right. This was kind of a weird category. Yeah. Actor. Bradley Cooper, Silver Linings Playbook, Daniel Day-Lewis, Lincoln, Hugh Jackman, Les Miserables, uh, Joaquin Phoenix in The Master, and Zenzel Washington in Flight. I think Daniel Day-Lewis has his line. Yeah, up. I think so. Historical drama, guy dies at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Biography. Uh, and I everybody think... loves Daniel Day-Lewis is how he gets into these roles. So, yeah, I think that's pretty uh... much a lock. Best Picture. Okay. There are a lot of there choices. There are a lot. There are too many, frankly. They wanted, yeah. to, they wanted to open it up, and I think there's just too many now. We have Amour, Argo, Beast of the Southern Wild, Django Unchained, Les Miserables. You have uh, to quit saying that. I guess. Life of Pi, Lincoln, Silver Linings Playbook, and Zero Dark Thirty. Hmm. Again, okay, you got historical drama and biography going for Lincoln. And I think even though you have that for Jan Django Unchained, that that's just too weird for the too Academy. Too weird for the Academy. Um, I don't think Sil Silver Linings Playbook, I think that, that uh, Jennifer Lawrence is going to win that one. So I don't think you're going to see that win for Best Picture. Um, Zero Dark Thirty, it's, uh, it's controversial. I think Lincoln will take it. I, I think more and more it's more likely to see Lincoln. I, I don't see uh, another one taking that. We're not going to talk about any of the other ones, right? Yeah, because <laughs> we, they're we don't a little know. bit more actually legitimate awards. Right. <laughs> yes. We're just guessing. Yes. And only movie we've seen is Lincoln. That's right. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Way Free Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. <laughs>